right, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV uh, for a special preview of Arsenal, or should I say Manchester United versus Arsenal. We've got Sam from United People's TV um, in the studio. He also runs uh, one of the biggest uh, Manchester United websites as well. And, um, well, it's an interesting game, this one, right? It's not like uh, it's Arsenal not United games in, in years gone by with Roy Keane, Vieira, people like that. It's... Uh, Probably Francis Cochrane up against some geezer I've never heard of. Schneidlin, you mean? The one you <laughs> Oh, wanted. Schneidlin, yeah, I yeah, forgot about Schneidlin. I'm sure you yeah, forgot yeah. about Schneidlin. Yeah, yeah, forgot about it. But he hasn't been having that great a season, has he? No, it? he hasn't done that. I think Kante is playing how we thought Schneidlin would be playing. Mm. Uh, he's just, he's come into it, come out of it. Van Hal dropped him for a bit for some unknown reason. Mm. And he's starting to come into it a bit more now. But with Schwanstager out injured, mm. uh, Carrick only just come back from injury, we've kind of had to rely on him a bit. Mm. Now, it's a massive game for us. Um, massive game for you as well, when mm. you think about it, because if you want to get into the top four, you've got to try and win this game, really. Um, but you've got a lot of injuries. Now, tell and that's, us... That's putting it mildly. <laughs> that's putting it mildly. Tell us about who's injured. You because... Got, how long, yeah, how, I'd like how, to know. How, how long do you want this video to be? <laughs> the main players. Let's talk about the right. main players that are out. Going into the game, as far as we know, because there was no press conference on Friday because we played on Thursday mm. night. De Gea's injured. Smalling's injured, Luke Shaw's injured, Darmian's injured, Schwansteiger's injured, Fellaini's injured, Rooney's injured, Yanazay's injured, injured, Asher Young's injured, Antonio Valencia's injured, Phil Jones is injured. I'm, on, I'm, I'm, over, I'm over 10 now, I've kind of lost, a bit, lost count a bit. And Anthony Martial. Possibly. Possibly. He, he pulled up in the, in the warm-up for Midtjylland. He'll play. I, hope, I, I think he will play, but we've got such a big march coming up now. And I, you say it's a big game for us. I do agree. It is completely. But if you look, if we don't win on Sunday, say, say we, to, we, we were to lose, and then obviously City are in the League Cup final, so I don't think they play. I'm not sure when their mm. next game would be. But if we lose this and they win their game in hand, they'll be nine points ahead of us. Yeah, it's, just, it's a must board. win game for you. Though, yeah, it? when you it's put a it like must that, win it, game it, because yeah, it really if, is. You, if, if Van Gaal's trying to get in the top four, you've got to win this game. Yeah, when you put it like, when you put it like that, you've really got to. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and for us, it's obviously, you know, I mean, we're trying to, um, we're two points off the top. It'd be massive if we won this game. And when we're looking at um, all the games, <coughs> excuse me, left at the moment, these are like, the hot, you know, we've got quite a lot of tough away games. And this is one of them. And I, I personally believe, looking at our running, I said that if I felt that if we was able to beat you mm. and beat Tottenham, I'm not saying we're going to do that. But if we were able to win those two games, I honestly then would believe that we'll win the league. I really do. If we can get past those two games, I think you guys, with all those injuries, are vulnerable because we beat you earlier on in the season 3 0 at our place. Yeah. Pretty easily. I'm not being disrespectful. No, but it's not. We got, we got pretty, literally humiliated. Yeah, pretty easily. And game. that was with your with everybody there, with mm. Rooney, who I always fear, mm. with Martial, with everybody there, we beat you. Um, I think it'll be a bit of pressure on us to to win that game because you know it, it'll be like no excuses really with the amount of injuries that you've just um, I laid think, out. I think in that situation, in that the way you've described it there, it's a bit of a it's a more it's a bigger pressure pressure situation for you. You've got mm. more on the line than we do. Say you were no, to but you've got a lot on the line. I still. know, I know, we've got a lot on the line, but we're not chasing the title. We're chasing top four. Mm. Say that again. No. <laughs> I don't need to. I like when no. Man United fans say that for all the grief they've given us over the year. You're chasing what? Uh, right, so Darwin's <laughs> injured, Shaw's injured. But going, uh, going into it, right, if you were to lose that game on Sunday and Leicester win, yeah. five point gap opens up again. Mm. And then Leicester, the way they. Leicester deserved a point at the Emirates. Really did. They're, they're, they're defending. Did deserve what point? Mate, their, their defending was just. They were unreal. They. Uh, you know you, what, you, you, let, let, you, let me make a point. When we defended brilliantly the other night, I thought, for most of the game against Barcelona, yeah. right? There's nobody at the end saying we deserved a point. They're all like, oh, yeah, Barcelona. Well, no, you got beat 2-0. Barcelona beat you 2-0. Yeah, there was only in second gear. Uh, Barcelona, right? When Leicester come to our place, right, and again, have done, they defended well. Mm. I thought they defended well. The keeper was their man of the match on the day. But what, they did not deserve a point. We deserve to win that game. If you look at the shots that we had, if you look at our attacking intent in the game, we deserve to win the game. We were trying to win the game 
right to the last minute, and in the last minute, we got that goal. We exactly. deserved it. No, did Leicester deserved it. There was balls to the walls defending, down to 10 men. Let's play for this point. And they tried, and they they had it yeah, until that Listen, Poland, they that, played well, but it's Leicester. In the world. Loves, even now, you loving in with Leicester. You know what I mean? You're no a one's Man loving in with. I'm not loving in with Leicester. I was complimenting you're loving it. in with Leicester. You Come want on. Leicester to win it? I know. I mean, flip, flip, flip <laughs> it. If that was Man United playing Leicester, you'd be like, Leicester deserve to I'd win. No, oh, I'd be like, God. let the best team win. That's how I'd be. I'd be. Le- <laughs> yeah, of course you would. <laughs> but you know what I wanted to ask as well, right? This whole Van Gaal thing. I mean, yeah, you know. I mean, I was kind of glad the other night that you guys did win that game against Michelin because the thing that I feared most was you getting beat and then Jose Mourinho walking through the door before he played us. And I know he's the type of guy that wouldn't go up in the stands and watch the first game. He'd be like, yeah, I'm playing Wenger. I always beat him. I'm going to come down and think so. I was kind of pleased. But Van Gaal, what, what's with you? Well, I've, I've been I know very... you've had selfies with him and stuff like uh, that. Leave it out. <laughs> I've been, I've been very, I've been very, very clear in the fact that I want Van Hal to leave. Um, I don't think he's a man to take us forward. I think if you're looking at him, he's 64. He's a man who's had a great career. You know, if you go on AZ Alkmaar, Barcelona, uh, Bayern Munich, third with the Netherlands at the World Cup, he's got a, a, a good career. But he hasn't adapted to the Why Premier League. Worked out for him though. He just hasn't adapted. Like, he really, under, if you look at the start of it, when we were playing Yeovil and Cambridge last year. He was blown away by how competitive the lower league teams were in England. Just didn't know. Just didn't know how competitive English football was right to the core. And I don't think he's ever coped with that. His, his, his philosophy of patient football, maybe, in, a, maybe in, a, in games abroad, in leagues abroad, more space opens up. And once, once say United get an early goal against you on Sunday, I expect us to play a lot better. I know we don't do it because we've had like 12... When was the last time we scored a goal even in the first half? We had 12 consecutive games it was nil nil at half time it was atrocious. I was convinced that Van Hal was betting on nil nil at half time. <laughs> He's gonna go to the Algarve, live in his like villa paid by Paddy Power. I'm gonna get done for libel probably. <laughs> but you know Van Hal is up until I think it was November, I, I saw where he was going, what he was working towards. But once plan A stopped working, he kept repeating plan A and crossing his fingers. There was no plan B, there was nothing else. It's like my way or the highway and it dragged us down. Um We've had loads of false dawns, Liverpool away 1-0, then we lose to Southampton the next week. I just don't see how Van Howe can motivate the players and convince the fans. He's lost a lot of fans now. Mm. You saw it after the Midland away game. Everyone was singing. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to swear on Arsenal fan TV, so I won't swear. <laughs> but they were, swinging, they were singing naughty things, and it was all completely fair because United were crap that night. Mm. Probably the most embarrassing night we've had in Europe. Mm. And Van Howe, for that, has lost the support of fans, and I've don't think he can get that back, no matter how many false dawns come. So I just, mm. I see Mourinho as a man to take United mm. forward, which I never would have said. If so much has changed in the last three years. When Fergie left, I took the You're moral. Desperate, really. When Fergie left, I took You're the desperate. Moral. Look right, don't don't <laughs> plant words in my mouth. Right? When Fergie left, I took the moral high ground. I said, we don't need Mourinho's style of play. We'll do it United's way. Three years later, well, Van Howell showed <laughs> us that style of play. Just come in Mourinho and sort and sort it out. I'm worried about what he'll do with the youth, but I'm convinced he'll adapt for his mm. dream job. He, everyone knows he wants a United job. Mm. Why right, not listen, give it to him? let's get to the crux of it then. Match predictions. What do you reckon? I think it massively depends on who comes back from injury for us. I think whoever's in goal is going to be busy because you're going to get chances. So we need De Gea in goal if we're going to have any chance of winning. And I think we need Anthony Martial up top. Without him, without those two, I don't think we have a chance of winning. With those two in, I think we can scrape a win. Just give me your match predictions. With them, with them in, with them. With them in, going for 2-1. To us. Without, no. 2-1 to United win. If we can have De Gea and Martial back. Mm. Without them, I do think you're going to win. OK. I, I'm, I'm going for Arsenal winning it by two goals to one. I just feel that um, you copy me. it's such an important game for us. Um, and we'll... We've got to go for the jugular. If, if, we, if we don't, I'll be really, really disappointed in Arsenal because this is a massive chance. You started so fast I mean, at the Emirates, didn't you? Yeah, that, that was we, what killed us. Yeah, we've got to start with that same pace and intensity again, get the Barcelona thing out of our system and really go for the jugular. And I think if we do that, we will get a result. I'll, I'll go for Arsenal winning. But even though in recent games we've not been that prolific, in front of goal. We, I mean, we've had a real problem with scoring goals recently, but I'd love to see Welbeck start 
and I think we can win it. Um, so you're going 2-1, yeah? I'm going 2-1. Listen, so am I. Thanks. You know what? I've got, a little, present. I've got a little present for you oh, as well. You well hold on, right? This is for you. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't I want to open this on camera. Open it, man. I I mean, it's not often I give presents. Right? I know you've been having a pretty poor season at the moment, so I want to give you something. You know what I mean? I, I always try to look after Manchester United fans. and so. I've already read this book. <laughs> right? There you go. Right, that's a nice present. Have a read of that. Are you read it already? I've already read it. Read it again, man. Bring back some good. You, do you know what you know? What bring, you can do? bring back some good memories. You know what you can you. do, mate. You can use it. <laughs> you can use it as a cup holder. It's very good at holding cups, is Ferguson. Ah, oh, good comeback. Good. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Saturday's games. So um, in goal. I've gone for uh, Jack Butland of Stoke. Stoke have got a pretty easy game. Um, so, uh, you know, I've loaded up my team with quite a few Stoke players. Um, also gone Ryan Bertrand in defence for 8.7 million. Uh, Voice Child, uh, 7.4 million.